Okay, welcome to the clapperboard test. I'm recording this on my Canon 7D camera, which I'm looking at right now. And that's the video component. The audio component's being recorded by the Blue Nessie uh, with my Surface Pro 3. And the Surface Pro 3 is also the slate for the clapper itself. And you can see I'm using OneNote for that. I'm recording a little bit before what people would normally see, just to show you the clapper in action, and then we'll look at the way that, that gets edited together. So I've got the Surface Pro 3 um, set up in the clapper, and obviously I've got the starting shot now and also the screen recording, so I can synchronize those um, frames. And I've also got all that information stored digitally for when I've got all those clips. So I'm just going to get rid of this now. And do the clapping uh, to start with. And so there we go. And that can go out of the way. And that's my synchronization point. I hope you can see it in the um, shot. I've got a green post-it note sitting here. Um, that's the key for my keyboard. So I know that it's going to sit correctly in the shot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up and I notice it my keyboard there. And I've also found a neat little trick uh, with the cabling that if you feed it under the stand of the Surface Pro 3, it actually looks a lot nicer in the shot and it's not all sort of around the table everywhere. And I'm gonna get my stylus, it's ready to go. And so now is the where I would normally start uh, a video like this. And I'd say, well, here we are and away we'd go. So you can hopefully see the way that all works. I guess the next part of the video is to show you exactly how I use the clapper sound to synchronize the external video that's being recorded on my Canon and the internal audio and screen capture that's being recorded in the Surface Pro 3. So let's have a look at it. So to save some time, I've already imported the video from the Canon camera and you can see the Camtasia file also sitting there ready to go. So when you record something within Camtasia, what you actually record, so the, the audio and the screen capture already gets put into the timeline. And I'm just going to add now the video uh, to the timeline and it will put that in as well and we'll be able to see um, the video sitting there and also the audio stream. The interesting thing about using a clapper is you can see immediately visually where the clapper is uh, because it's such a loud noise and I can see here on the screen recording this is the point where the clapper is and I'm going to guess that this is the point here where it is because it's such a loud peak sound and I can just scrub through that and go to where the video is and you can see indeed that is where I'm doing the clap and the sound I'm not going to play it back uh, with the audio stream because that's not going to be helpful so what I need to do now is just align those two points and it's pretty easy within Camtasia all I do is I just drag them along until they're lined up and what I do is I can zoom in now and you can, oops, you can see the waveforms are really, really simple because similar because we've got both the audio form from the camera and the audio form from the recording that I've made using the microphone. And all I've got to do is synchronize those two things. And you can see the way that they're lining up really, really nicely. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more because that'll make it even easier for me to make sure they're completely aligned and you can see they're not quite aligned. I'll put the marker there. So I'm just going to get them to line up exactly. And I'm sure that the audio from both of those is going to be synchronized. The next thing that I need to do is just get rid of the audio from track two here, my video track, because I don't want to use that audio. The microphone that I've used, the Blue Yeti is a far better microphone. So I'm just going to right click on that. And then I'm going to separate the video and audio and now I can get the audio track and I just delete that track and now when I play that back um, which you will see in the final video you'll see that everything is synchronized 
So that's it. It's a really simple process to be able to synchronize the audio stream that's being recorded by the Surface Pro 3 and the video stream which has been recorded externally uh, on my Canon uh, camera in this case. And hopefully that's a useful way for, for anybody else that would like to be able to use a clapper type device to be able to synchronize those elements and make a little bit more professional looking video, I hope. Until next time, I'm out of here.